What's up guys and welcome to Italy. We are in the beautiful Lake Como. So I'm going to be in Lake Como for the next week. Not only will I be getting fully stuck into the Italian way of life, culture, cuisine, all of that, but I'll be here for a very, very spectacular three-day wedding, which I've been invited to very kindly from a friend, of a friend, of a friend, of a friend. So sit tight for that. That is going to be absolutely mind-blowing. Are we ready to wrap up your Bugatti? Oh yeah. I love this remote. The best thing about this remote is that it doesn't work. Yeah. There we go. So anyway, yeah, this is a hybrid. Can you believe that? It's a hybrid with an extremely dated interior, but it is actually oh. quite smooth. Hopefully no one, no one that knows me is going to see this car. <laughs> Can you see the Santa Claus? It's not Christmas it's yet. It's about three months too early. What on earth is going on? Anyway, we stopped off at a place which is literally 10 minutes away from ours, Villa Deste. So we've come to have a little walk around and have a very quaint coffee. <laughs> you're on you're on your duty, friend. If you take Sorry, a girl you? anywhere on holiday, you have to be prepared to Baby. take fuck. <laughs> we have a professional cameraman here. Like Como, chilling. About to have a delicious coffee, probably some cake because my diet is going straight out of the window this week. We're getting stuck in pizza, pasta, carbonara, carbonara spaghetti, gelato, a little afternoon snack that involves no food, but lots of caffeine, cappuccino for the man, some sparkling water. Some guy over there has got a cigar and a glass of wine. Maybe I should do that later. You know what's surprising? It feels like the middle of summer, but we are literally right at the end of September, borderline going into October. It's absolutely, well it's not absolutely boiling, but it's still pretty hot. We were lucky this week, because all last week it rained every day, and this week is sunny every day, so we are very, very lucky. Don't know how that wedding would have turned out if it was pouring down with rain. By the way guys, this villa is spread over four floors. Can you believe that? We have the basement, with the car, garage. Then we have the minus one, which is actually a gym. The plan is to have a workout here tomorrow morning. This is a very spicy little device. Also have a sauna and a very large shower. We have some dumbbells under there. Exercise balls, etc. We have a lift as well, that's an elevator. Wow, so uncomfortable. I just, sure. got, I just go in some thirst shorts. Problem is, I've got more jacked. Wow. So the shirt feels tighter than usual. Why is there no mirror in this living room? Don't have a clue what I look like. But I would say I look like an absolute G, aka James Bond. I need a little uh, tissue for when I sneeze this evening. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> this fit me perfectly a year ago. I guess I'm kind of meandering out of my shredded state and into a bit more of a bulk. Been eating a lot the past few weeks. Usually happens after summer. What should I tell everyone that I do tonight? Because everyone's going to ask me, oh, what do you do for a living? Hmm, okay. Secret agent, movie star, <laughs> breast surgeon. Just be an actor. Actor. Famous Greek actor. With a British accent. Yeah. Look at you, Hanson. Look at me! All the Brazilian girls are going to talk to me. Your face. <laughs> and da -da -da. Nice entrance way, guys. It's like something off a film. Oh, I arrived at my, my Rolio de Campo. <laughs> How are you? Wow. Pretty dope, eh? You got the first snack. <laughs> this one will get me very full. Beef tartar. So I would honestly say, I've not been to anything like this before. It's pretty impressive. Right by the lake, we've got two ladies in crazy dresses playing the violin. Everybody looks very smart, well-dressed. Unfortunately, I would imagine a lot of them don't speak English, but we'll see. The bride and the groom are arriving. I'm not a drinker. 
Can you believe that? I've not had a drop of alcohol for one and a half months. Cheers to the gang. First of many, you've got a fly in yours, so that's good. <laughs> Look. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Where is that? Ah, remove it from this. Remove it. It's a friend. <laughs> Mikey, what's up? <laughs> Serving the dessert. It's a very, very healthy array of desserts now. Oh, that's the guy's back. I'll wake you up. Good morning from Como. It was another beautiful day. Yesterday was very extravagant, very luxurious, very different, but it was good. Filled myself to the room with food, danced the night away. <laughs> ah! oh. And then we have the main event today, which is going to be the wedding. But I think this morning we're just going to chill. I'm going to have a little workout downstairs in the gym, do what I can with the very limited equipment, have a quick snack, and then get ready to do it all again. Techno gym. Put some curls. Oh my god. Fly. Pull down. Stop it. Oh. Yo. Oh, we've got, a, we've got a bit of a row again. Oh my god. This one. Chest press. How the hell does this work? Leg extension. We could do. The extension pull down fly curl. I'm, I'm, I'm out of here. Yeah? <laughs> I'm out of here. Extension pull down fly curl. Yeah. So we have breakfast champions. Managed to get some salmon yesterday, so I'm having some salmon, which I cooked a little bit over the top. We have a McDonald's salad. Shout out to Rob, who ordered a McDonald's. I just thought, you know what? Let's try and get something reasonably healthy. Looks pretty weird, I'm not gonna lie. And then I have my AG1, the sachets I take with me every single place that I go to when I'm traveling. Get all of that deliciousness down me. AG1, I'm sure you guys have already heard of it. 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food source ingredients all in one little sachet. You can get one big uh, sachet as well. But I take these everywhere I go when I travel because let's be honest, when I do travel, nutrition isn't exactly on point. It's certainly lacking. And of course, when I'm in places like Italy, where uh, a lot of carbs, not a great amount of vegetables, they really come in handy. Not only for supporting my immune system, but also for helping reduce bloating and supporting a healthy gut microbiome. And they've also managed to make it taste pretty damn good. It doesn't feel like you're drinking a glass of raw soil. I highly recommend that you guys give it a try. And if you use my exclusive link in the description, you can get five AG1 travel packs and one year supply of vitamin D3 plus K2 with your first purchase. What more can I say? I'm looking like an absolute G. Shout out to Good Luck Bespoke for sorting me out with this custom piece, the blazer, the shirt, with the absolutely wild collar. Don't see that very often. Some trousers as well. Shoes are from somewhere else. So today is the wedding day, and we are at a stunning location once again. This is Villa Bal Billy Billy Ba Ba Ba. Yeah, Villa Balbiano. Oh. 
Villa Balbiano. I was right all along. Come and look at this. Oh, you're looking all right, I guess. Huh? You're looking okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where's the dress from? No, my, I made it. Primark? Yeah. <laughs> Tiene que sufrir y con amor puedes vivir si duermes. Is that India Jones? Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. so the guys over there setting up fireworks for another absolutely explosive display. We are currently just waiting for all the guests to arrive. We're almost there. We were actually the first people here, which was pretty ridiculous. But we were. We're gonna watch them get married. Then, uh, then the real fun starts. The proposal? My proposal? Absolutely not. No, it's when the food and the drinks and the DJ comes out. Pretty hot. Com cabelos This is lit! There's literally flowers everywhere. They're all fake. No, they're real flowers. This is pretty impressive, I'm not gonna lie. Very, very elegant. So thought so far, it's um, well. I think in terms of the whole Como wedding experience, it doesn't really get better than this. It's actually like so ridiculous that it doesn't even seem real. Like it doesn't seem real life because everything is like too perfect. A famous Brazilian DJ called A Lock is going to be playing very soon. He's probably been flown out from somewhere for this very special occasion. So looking forward to that. Let's carry on. Business is everything. Lady takes care of you. This is the party room. You left your um, fabulous hat behind. Oh god damn it! <laughs> I've completely forgot about my hats. We've now moved back to the place where the original ceremony was, which has been transformed into a flowery little haven. There's a load of women with feathers that are hiding the cake. Sorry, excuse me. Sorry. We're just eagerly waiting to see the cake. Nice job, Mike, blocking everybody. Well, when you built this wide, it's Pretty inevitable, really. He got the hat back, and everybody disliked it. I am the only guy here wearing a hat. Standing out, that's what you need to do, stand out. Wear a fruity little collar like this, and a hat. So, cake testing. Thick amount of icing. My stomach's sick of some punishing over the past two days. Very good. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Good morning everybody, it is another wonderful day in Como. The wedding yesterday was absolutely unbelievable. Literally just couldn't believe how good it was. Extraordinary, that's for sure. Managed not to drink, which was good. I think I only had about one glass of champagne, so I'm feeling fresh. Fresh-ish. I did not manage to stay away from all the delicious food, so uh, we need to burn away some calories. I've had a look around Como for gyms. Of course, it's not the biggest place, so there isn't the greatest selection of gyms to choose from but this one 
seems to be pretty cool. It is, what was about a 15 minute drive, called Penta Fit. So uh, let's get a much needed session in. Mi nome es Mike. Mi nome es Miguel. Miguelio. So this gym is surprisingly decent for a small town, smallish town. It's very techy, absolutely full to the brim with techno gym, but I'm happy. That small gym in the villa was not doing it for me, if I'm being honest. So today I'll probably do like a full upper body session. Realistically, I think this week is not gonna be a huge amount of training, which is fine because I'm gonna class this as a deload week where I will just reduce the overall volume. So. I'll probably do about three sessions in this week, allow my body to recover and recharge a little bit. And then when we get back into usual routine, we can start fresh and go hard for another five or six weeks before we need the next deload. So that is the session completed. It's unbelievable how much stronger I feel after all those calories and having a rest day. Full body, upper body. I didn't do any lower body. The reason behind that is not because I'm a little wimp. It's actually because I got some trousers to fit into later on. And whenever I train legs, everything is just so, so tight. I can't even sit down properly without something splitting. So uh, I'm gonna go back to the villa now, get something quick to eat and then head out again. So we have just stopped off in Chernobyl, 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 Chernobyl. Because we'll be going on a boat shortly. But of course we need to fill up before we get onto the vessel. Bought myself two plates. Because I'm a big hungry man who needs some protein. Fillet steak, cockerel, AKA chicken. It looks very similar to chicken. And uh, yeah, can't complain. It's a nice, uh, nice change from the pizza and the pasta that we've been having recently. So, fill ourselves up and we'll get on the boat. Show me the inside. Oh, nice and red. What the hell is it? They love doing it red raw here. Someone had to get pizza. Someone also needs to give me a slice. I'm not sharing. Hey, what is that? Tuna? <laughs> yeah. It's not really Italian, is it? I wanted to ask for a pizza with that pineapple, but I actually like it. I don't want to do this. <laughs> oh yes, Colombo, Colombo, Colombo. You say that Colombo is is uh, from Lake Como, Como yeah. yeah. Menaggio. Menaggio. Now it's just uh, two boats like this on okay. the world. Really? Yeah. Very famous. Super Indus 24. Rare, rare, rare. It's the life. It's the life. I'd imagine today we're going to go to a few uh, different spots. If you wanted to go there by car, which we could have done, it would have taken a long time. I think in the olden days, everybody just got around by boat. If you wanted to go to another town, you could very easily just go over there by boat instead of driving for one hour. Fat belly out. Every day we're losing definition, but I don't care. The thing is, in Italy, we need to stress and spark. You don't have to be shredded. It doesn't matter. Boopity bappy bappy bappy, full of pasta pizza, full of pasta pizza, full of pasta pizza. First person to own that was Johnny Versace. Mr. Versace himself. Good taste, you think? Good day for a proposal? Yeah, great day. That's actually a great idea. Did you bring the onion rings? Oh yeah. These are coming back in stock in a few weeks time though. So in November, the navy and the white will be back. We'll also have a black one and a couple of other new drops which nobody has seen before. Thirstyvision.com So we are in Nesso. Cool spot for tourists because we have a waterfall behind us and a cute little bridge. We also have a <laughs> the local tanning spot. I'm, I'm a fan of a symmetrical house. Ooh. And that is a very symmetrical house. Yeah, the true story of the Gucci. She's crazy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> How much do you think that's worth? 40 million. 40 million. 
buy it if you want to buy it. Oh, I don't think it's for sale. What? Darn. Darn it. I had a spare 40 mil. I can't come to Lake Como and not go in the lake. Why do you go swim there? Yeah, it'd be pretty awkward if I wasn't. Oh, there he is. Oh, so fresh. It's cold. You know how it's normally like salty in the sea? It's not salty? Uh, it's like fresh water. Salt water and you just get salty. Yes, here now it's like a shower. Here it's like, I've literally just had a shower. I'm I feel like I could, just, I could drink that water. Yeah, apparently this is where Star Wars was filmed at Casino Royale. Casino Royale, James Paul. Casino Royale. Yeah. 35 mil. Why are all the windows boarded? Yeah, oh. it's closed. Oh, it's closed, okay. Just vacation. Okay. Two, three weeks per year. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> Pull up to the Bellagio in style. I think we're gonna get a quick coffee. Be quick, 15 minutes. Yes, please. This place is so busy. I guess this is where a lot of tourists come for the day on the big ferries. That's so what it's about. I think the main thing to do here is walk around, people watch, eat ice cream and drink coffee. And just take it all in, watch life go by. Why didn't you spill all of it? Well, I'll tell you what folks, I 100% recommend that. Even if you're on a bit of a budget, just go and get a cheaper boat. It doesn't have to be one of the fancy wooden ones. But that is by far the best way to see Como. And it really gives you uh, a real sense of how ginormous the lake is. It just keeps going on and on and on and on. It's huge. He did it. He parole parked. I did it. I'm absolutely drenched in sweat at the moment. That was easy. I actually did that uh, with my eyes closed. So guys, we are here for the third and final party celebration. This is a Dolce & Gabbana event. Oh, let me just get out and show you the full outfit because it's another absolute banger. Came to steal the show. We are actually at the same place we came on the first night, but quite obviously it's daytime, so it will be a very different vibe. I wonder how everyone is feeling today. It must have gone on quite late last night. I can't believe a lock turned up. I'm genuinely so curious to know how much he would have charged just to show up for that event. I'm thinking around $150,000. He's usually used to playing in front of tens of thousands of people, yet last night he was in this very small private party. It was very cool. Obviously, he's a Brazilian DJ, so all the Brazilians are going absolutely wild. Michael, you were supposed to bring your hat. <laughs> Why? Everybody's wearing a hat now. I do it differently, though. When everyone wears a hat, I don't wear a hat. Oh, you're such a when nobody sir. wears a hat, you're such I a wear a hat. Sir. Yeah, on the first night, this was all closed off. I had no idea it went on for this long. Do some decent sprints on this patch of grass. We'll do a food tour in a bit. The food's looking good today. DJ Moiku! Such a cool idea. Having their own pizza oven at the event. Pretty good, boss. Came to get more pizza, and I'm gonna film that. Really, yeah, I'm really getting a brand new appreciation for Italian food. I mean, I obviously love pizza, but lasagna, wow, forgot how good that was. The pasta as well. It's a very dangerous place. This is like a, this is a week off from dieting. Any damage that will be done can be undone when I come back to the bar.
so we are back at the Casa after yet again another spectacular event. Honestly, I feel like I've been absolutely spoiled the past three events. I don't know how you can top that. It was the absolute epitome of luxury. I felt like they were like putting on a show for us all. So we were all very fortunate to be there and to experience that. And being my first experience in Como, I think that's just massively added to the trip. Of course, if I'd come here on my own, explored it would have been very good but that just added a little bit of extra to it so big thank you to the newlyweds i wish them the very best long to the future for themselves and their family and uh yeah who knows when it's going to be my turn next i guess you guys will just have to wait and find out <laughs> from all the time they're wait, fantastic bro? canada it's a pleasure. Cheers. Take care. Finally. Finally. Someone has recognized me. God, it was hurting my ego then. But this is, out of all the places I've been to, the least amount of people ever have come up to me. I don't know what the fitness culture is like in Italy, to be honest. And I think a lot of them don't understand what the hell I'm talking about. So I don't know how well they speak English. We have been coming here a few times. If you want legit, Legit ice cream and gelato. This is the this is the spot. G lab, girl lab. We'll be coming here later, won't we? Yeah. The uh, six thirty Mike Thurston flexing show. So everyone who's watching here will witness me wearing my tighty whities, <laughs> covered in oil, doing a forty-five minute posing routine. Okay. And whilst I do it, he's going to play the violin. So guys, this is the Central Como. I definitely recommend coming here and have a little stroll, walk around. There's a lot of restaurants, a lot of shops to go to, and just more things to see, more coffee to drink, and more ice cream to consume. God, that's so fresh. We are literally right next to the Alps. So that'll be hopefully not taken from the lake but taken from a little bit higher up where there's no boat pollution. Anyway, we'll find out how clean that water is tomorrow morning by the state of my stool. This place looks good actually. We walked around for 30 or 40 minutes. Hey guys, the reviews on Google were pretty damn high. 2,692 five-star ratings or four to five-star ratings. That was a lot of walking. I think I deserve two pizzas. Too much choice is a problem. What are you about to do? Have my appetizer. <laughs> Extra cheese. <laughs> oh, interestingly enough, do you think that when they serve the pizza, they should cut it for you or you should cut it yourself? Uh, excuse me, here I am vlogging and you're just creating absolute carnage. Let's, oh, it's soft, that's always a good sign. What did you get? Uh, the the Baldi Malteboldi. Calibra. Yeah, Calab Calabria. Wow. Intense flavors. Very soft. Very gooey. It's a yes for me. We came to another restaurant because we're opening one pizza because we had a pizza for lunch. And I should probably have some protein, so I'm gonna have a steak. Back once again. Hello. You good? Uh, you might not recognize me because I've put on about five kilos. We got recommended this place from a local. When a local recommends it, that's usually a good sign. Latteria. Yes. Busy tonight, Friday night. Friday night on the send. Friday night on the send. Well, steak didn't go to plan, so went for carbonara instead. It's funny because I don't think I've ever ordered carbonara before. It's like not up there on the top 5, 10 or even 15 of things I would usually go for at a restaurant, but when in Italy. And this carbonara is absolutely outrageous. They are definitely doing it justice and living up to the Italian cuisine hype. Let's not get that on my shirt. Wow. Cheesy, bacony, creamy goodness. So good. 
That's what I probably should have had. Salad with potatoes? Yeah. Look at this button. It's under an immense pressure right now. And it's not my chest, it's my belly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Boom on Peter. It was an extremely difficult choice, but always had to go with the pistachio because that's just the OG flavor. I went for the buffalo milk. First time trying the buffalo milk. Didn't look exciting, but boy, I understand why it's popular. Proper creamy little devil that. 660. Mm. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Why do you get two scoops? No more. What kind of pathetic behavior is that? Oh my god. That is up there. With <laughs> <laughs> That is up there with one of my top five flavours ever. Big show. <laughs> Whoa! Don't do that to me. Guys, look at the moon. When that came over the mountain, it was an absolute mad one. So in other news, the vlog is coming to an end, unfortunately, but what an action-packed few days that was. Probably the best way I could have possibly seen Como. I highly recommend it. Probably not a place to come with little lads. Definitely come with your partner or your family. It's very chill, it's very calm, very peaceful, but very, very worth it. And if you're thinking about getting married, this is definitely a good spot to get married. You don't have to have a couple million spare to invest in a uh, nice wedding ceremony here. You can, I'm sure you can do it much cheaper, but yeah, if you've got loads of money to spend, then just go all out, because it's sick. So uh, yeah, guess I'll see you in the next one. Don't know where I'm gonna be. Heading off to Milan tomorrow. More fun times, more fun food. And yeah, we'll be back in Dubai very soon. Adios. Ciao.